So today is our second and last day in Ho Chi Minh City and we are heading on our full day Coochie Tunnels and Mekong Delta tour. Again I booked this one through Viator and I'll leave a link in the description. I booked a luxury VIP tour so there's fewer people because this is a really popular tourist destination. It also says we've been picked up in a limousine. I don't know what that means out here but I expect it's like a nice car. If you haven't watched yesterday's vlog we are currently staying in Muong Tan Grand Saigon Centre in Ho Chi Minh City. We have breakfast included in our stay which we haven't had yet because this is our first morning so we're going to head down there in a minute and then the tour people should pick us up around 7 45 ish We got picked up in this lovely van which could fit seven people and ended up only having two other couples on our tour, which was perfect and meant we weren't waiting around for big groups of people. The tour cost £64 per person. On the way to the Coochie Tunnels we stopped by a lacquer painting shop called Handicapped Handicrafts. The paintings and other handicrafts were assembled by handicapped people who were mostly war victims who were no longer able to work in offices or farms. We were able to walk through and observe people during their daily work and support them by purchasing their products. After the one and a half hour drive, we arrived at the Kuchi Tunnels. The network of tunnels were originally built by the Viet Minh to connect villages during the fight against the French in the 1940s. During the Vietnam America War, the existing tunnel system was repaired and the network expanded to nearly 250 kilometers, linking villages all the way from the Saigon River to the Cambodian border. The construction of the Kuchi Tunnels took about 25 years and could accommodate 16 to 18,000 people. However, around 3,000 people lived there during the war. The tunnels were built on three levels and functioned like complete cities. There were schools, offices, bedrooms, kitchens, birth rooms and more. Those rooms were connected via tiny tunnels which were no bigger than 80 centimetres high and 60 centimetres wide. As well as learning about the incredible history, we got to see bomb craters, hiding spaces, traps, weapons and of course the tunnels. There were a couple of opportunities to enter the tunnels. The first included getting into a ridiculously small hole and crouching down whilst holding a lid covered with leaves above your head. This was a lot harder than it looks, but it showed just how clever and well hidden these tunnels were. The other opportunity to enter the tunnels included entering at one end, then crouching and crawling to emerge at the other end. This was not for the faint hearted. I was so determined to go for the full 40 meters, but after less than a minute in there, I started to panic and we both decided we would get out after the first 10 meters. It was so dark, hot and claustrophobic. It's hard to believe that these tunnels were made bigger for tourists and that people actually lived down there. We then got to go to the shooting range. This was not included in the tour price and was completely voluntary. There was a variety of different guns to choose from and then you paid per bullet. Bullets for different guns had different prices and you had to buy a minimum of 10 bullets. Jack chose the M60 and I chose the AK-47. Just a warning, this is very loud. You might want to turn your volume down. We then stopped off for lunch, which was included in our tour price. This was delicious, and it was so nice to sit and chat with the other couples on our tour, who both seemed to be doing very similar routes around Vietnam. After lunch, we had another long drive of about two hours to get to the Mekong Delta region, which was the second part of our day tour. We took a boat ride down the Mekong River, which was so beautiful, and we got to learn about the daily life of the locals. We then got on a sampan boat through the small waterways of the Ben Che province with coconut palm on both sides. This was so relaxing. Oh my 
Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. The towel's gone up my shoulder. Sorry. 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 In Vietnam, there are many coconut growing areas, but Ben Che is the birthplace and developed the coconut candy processing industry. The craft of making Ben Che coconut candy is one of the most long preserved crafts in the province and has existed for more than a hundred years. Coconut candy is a type of candy made from the main ingredients of coconut rice and malt sugar, and it was so interesting to see the process of making this. This is also so random, but we ended our time in Ben Che by Jack taking the snake wine shop from a cobra. We then headed back to Mi Ta boat station before our long drive back to Ho Chi Minh City and our tour guide let us drive the boat, which was so much fun and definitely one of my highlights. <laughs> I'm really sorry if you can hear that. I assume you can because it is so loud. If you watched yesterday's vlog, I mentioned that there was loads of noise in our room. There is a show going on downstairs next to our hotel and it is so loud. Like if you can hear that, that is on the sixth floor. All of the windows are shut and that is how loud it is. When we got back to our room late last night though, it had stopped, but currently it's 7.30 and it's still going on. I do think it is just something for new year that's going on right now. I don't think it's something all the time because I didn't read any reviews on this. In fact, I actually read reviews that this was a really quiet hotel and that's why I booked it. But anyway, we are back from our tour now. We had the most incredible day. It was a very long day. It is 7.30 now and we did get picked up at 8am this morning. So 11 and a half hours, a very long day, but so, so worth it. I did loads of research on the tours available to find the smallest group possible and this was perfect. There were seven seats available in the van, but there were only two other couples with us. So it was six in total. We saw so many other buses and coaches like school coaches full of people on tours but this was so much better because it was so much more personal the car itself was also brilliant it was called a luxury car and i can see why it had leather recliner seats and also it had a massage button which was really cool it made it super comfortable because some of the journeys were quite long so from the coochie tunnels to the mekong delta it was a two hour trip and then back to the hotel at the end it was another two hour trip but it didn't really feel like that because it was so comfortable in the car the highlights of the trip for me were probably the shooting and also also driving the boat at the end which was so unexpected and so cool they let us do that so as I said I will leave the link in the description below if you're in Ho Chi Minh City this is the tour to do it was so good and I couldn't recommend it enough I know they have several different tour guides but our tour guide was called Bao and he was incredible so that is the end of our time in Ho Chi Minh City but also the end of our time in Vietnam we have had the most amazing week very fast paced and so action-packed but so worth it I hope the last seven vlogs show how much you can get done in a short space of time if you just plan it well. I have absolutely loved all of the activities we have done in each place and everything we have seen and although we were only in each place for a really short period of time I feel like we had enough time to get a proper glimpse of that area. End of our time in Vietnam but our trip doesn't end here we have two more weeks. Tomorrow we wake up very early I think we're being picked up at 5 55 a.m and we're heading to the airport to fly to our first destination in Cambodia which is Siem Reap. We're in Cambodia for six days and going to three different locations and then we head on to Bali where we are for another six days and head to three other locations. So still another two very action-packed weeks and I will be vlogging every single day so please subscribe and yeah I hope you loved the Vietnam vlogs.